Hi there, it's Mary Beth Chima here. Welcome to the second episode of our series on life skills. Great, so this episode we're going to be talking about teaching our children how to manage their time. La- time management is a life skill that is very, very essential and it is one that you have to, you need to teach your children. Children need to learn how to plan, how to prioritize, how to schedule, how to stay on task, right? In order for them to be successful. We have seen and we have heard cases, okay, of people who grow up and they get stressed and overwhelmed just because they are not able to plan themselves. They're not able to plan the things that they take on. And so at some point, they begin to suffer stress and burn out. Now, what we want to do is we want to help our children avoid this by teaching them how to manage themselves, how to plan themselves, how to prioritize, how to schedule, how to create routines and how how to follow through with these schedules and routines so that they can manage the different aspects of their lives. The good way to start doing this is to actually create structures in your home. I have been talking a lot about structures and that's because structuring, making sure there is a structure in your home is very essential if you're going to have children who are independent who will learn how to manage themselves and how to manage their time then you need to create structures so you need to create routines in your home that your children know and they understand you need to create schedules that your children can follow through and they continue to practice and then they can invite this you need to create a way where your children can get up in the morning and go on their own so you can start by getting Getting an alarm clock that can wake them at a particular time every day, right? And after that, what follows through? After that, what follows next? After that, what comes? So by the time you train your children this way, you'll find that when they leave you, it could begin right from when they go to boarding school. From boarding school, the children do not have to suffer because already they have been used to structures, they've been used to routines and schedules from their home. Okay, these are some things that we don't want to pass okay we don't want our children to leave our doors without knowing i hope you've got value this time also i'll see you in the next episode